Well, Yanni, following the Paris attacks, the NFL announcing heightened security at all of its stadiums. And Yanni, uh, even you experienced it firsthand, the heightened security as a member of the media having to walk through a metal detector to get inside the stadium. Now, as far as fans go, I spoke with some of them beforehand. They tell me they really didn't notice that much of a difference, but they do say that they feel safe with that police presence around them. Police patrols of all kinds, bikes, dogs, and metal detectors are all welcome signs for fans like Carol Sestone. I was actually happy when they started paying more attention when people were going in. Metal detectors don't bother me. I would much rather feel safe and be able to enjoy the game than be worrying that something's going to happen. After the Paris attacks, the NFL announced it is upping security beyond its standard procedures, saying, quote, there will be increased security and law enforcement outside stadiums in the parking lots of our stadiums this weekend. We have been in contact with clubs hosting games to reinforce our standard procedures and the league's best practices. Foxborough Police Chief Edward O'Leary says fans likely won't notice a significant difference. We have... Uh, gathered intelligence from incidents that have occurred over in France and we're using the information that the FBI has provided to further refine uh, the collaborative effort we have with stadium security, the state police and the FBI uh, for devising our operational plan. And the NFL says there are no threats to any of its stadiums. Now, fans are encouraged to leave their bags at home, but if they do need to bring along some belongings, of course, they have to follow the NFL's policy of using a clear bag. Reporting live at Gillette with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News. Right now, the Patriots are getting ready to take on the Bills. We're just a couple hours away from kickoff at Gillette Stadium, where the fans are already preparing to cheer on New England as the team looks to defend its undefeated record. And new at 6, we're hearing more from the police chief on increased security measures. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan is there now, live in Foxborough. About a half hour from now, fans will start heading into Gillette Stadium. And while most of them tell me that they haven't really noticed a difference in the police presence, the NFL announced it heightened security following the Paris attacks. Early in the afternoon, as fans started to file into Gillette Stadium, so did the security presence. We did come in quite early, so as far as seeing a lot of security, not just yet. I'm starting to see it around here, around the store. Dogs, officers on bikes, and metal detectors are pretty standard for Pats games. Metal detectors don't bother me. I would much rather feel safe and be able to enjoy the game than be worrying that something's going to happen. The recent Paris attacks rattled the nerves of a few, but the police presence is calming. The NFL announcing on its website heightened security through a collaborative effort on all levels of law enforcement. Uh, it makes me feel a lot safer, actually, you know, with all the stuff going on with the Paris attack and everything. I, walking around, you know, you always feel like there's that chance of something else happening, especially with that going on. It, just, it really does comfort a lot with, that, with a whole bunch of police officers up front. Uh, making sure that all the different areas of the stadium, the entry points, Patriot Place, the parking lots, all have adequate coverage. Police also urging fans to be alert, and if they see something, say something. It's really critical for them to let law enforcement know or security know. And so the fans, if they want to bring in belongings, they must follow that NFL clear bag policy. Also, fans are urged to get inside the stadium early just in case those security lines happen to be long this evening. Now, while fans can't get in just yet, the teams have been inside Gillette preparing for hours, and that's where I find my colleague Yanni Karakis. Yanni.